Hello guys, today I am going to explain about the topic HDFS nodes. See, let's go into the topic. Those who are going to watch for the first time, please like, share and subscribe my channel guys. Now let's see what is meant by this HDFS nodes, how many types of nodes are there, what, are, what is the complete details about that, the master node and the slave nodes we will see. See, as we have discussed in the previous video, like uh, what is meant by HDFS, how many types of nodes are there, how the storage will be done. Right, we have discussed what is meant by the name node and what is meant by the data node. What is meant by the name node? So, usually name node, it is called as the uh, master node. So, this is my master node. For this master node, this is the completely con uh, controlling node here where it will uh, control all the many number of slave nodes. How many number of slave nodes uh, here if you see? only three are there like that uh, I can extend many number of slave nodes here but uh, this is completely responsible only for storing the metadata information whereas all in all the slave nodes all the actual data will be there right so that is about the HDFS nodes and uh, HDFS master node will be there where it will regulate so all the file access to the clients here so if you want uh, the client want to access any sort of the file so, all the types of the file permissions uh, like reading and writing, all the things will be controlled completely by the name nodes here. And it maintains and manages the slave nodes and uh, assigns tasks to them. And the name node executes the file system uh, like uh, namespace operations. What type of operations usually we will perform? We will open the file, we will close the file, we will save the file. All these file related operations will be there in the metadata. So, that related information I am going to store it only in the master node itself and uh, this will completely runs on the high configuration hardware only it will not runs on the normal uh, small and uh, things and all and uh, hdfs slave nodes slave nodes we can call it like the data nodes here there are n number of slave nodes which can be up to thousand nodes or the data nodes here uh, in the hadoop distributed file system that manages uh, and uh, that manages the storage of the data here so, these slave nodes are the actual worker nodes uh, that do the tasks and uh, serve read and write requests uh, from the file, uh, file client systems here. So, I can manage the storage of the data. I can extend my data nodes up to how many nodes? Nearly 1000 machines I can extend here. And these slave nodes are the actual worker nodes where I can do the lot of things with the help of the slave nodes. I can do the read permissions, write permissions, all these things I can do it here. And they perform the block creation, deletion and the replication upon the instruction from the name node. If the name node is instructing to delete the files means it has to do. Why? Because it has to completely um, follow according to the regulations of the name nodes here. And once a block is written on the data node, it replicates to the other data node. Suppose if, I'm, if I have created one uh, data node here means uh, automatically with this data node I can create up to three copies of my data nodes here and I can process continuous until it will create the total number of required replicas. One number of three replica copies will be maintained by the data nodes here and these data nodes completely they are going to run on the commodity hardware with the average uh, having an average configuration files here. And if you see the Hadoop HDFS demons, we can call it like a demons. Demons, it means it is nothing but a process. Demons means it is nothing but a process here. So, how many types of demons are there? Two demons are there, nothing but a, they're having name nodes and data nodes will be there. We know what, a, what information will be there in the name node. Ma. In the name node, we are going to store only the metadata information like the file names uh, information will be there, block information will be there, how many number of copies of data nodes will be there what is the location of that block where I am going to store my block that information is needed and block IDs what is the ID of that block all that information I am going to store it in the name node and this metadata is available in the memory in the master for the faster retrieval of the data so in the local disk the copy of the metadata is available for the persistence copy of the metadata is available for the persistence here so the name node memory should be high as per the requirements as per the requirements so if you see the data node this is the demons which will runs on the slave nodes here and there are the actual worker nodes that stores the data there are uh, actual uh, worker nodes that will uh, stores the data here so these are the two demons that which we are having in the hadoop hdfs demons and uh, see here we are having the data storage in the hdfs how the data will be stored in the hdfs this is very very important concept guys 
So HDFS will broke the files into the smaller pieces of the data which are called as the blocks. And the default block size usually in the HDFS is the 128 MB. If you want to extend the file size means I can extend the file size up to 256 also. And we can configure the size of the block as per the requirements here. And all these blocks are stored in the cluster in a distributed manner on the different nodes here. And uh, see if you see this, this is my large file. I am having the 100 terabytes of my file will be there. I am going to store this 100 terabytes of my file into the block 1, block 2, block 3, block 4 and so on like that. So if you see this is my master node here. How many number of slave nodes are there? Nearly 100 slave nodes are there. All these are the blocks here. All these are the CPUs where I am going to store all my data here. See if you say uh, these, these are all the blocks here where I am going to store my data. If you see observe completely here I am having the block 1 is there. Like that I am having this block 1 at multiple places and the next one is the block 2 will be there where it is repeated here. Again this is my one more copy of my block 2 and this is my block 3 and one more copy of my block 3 and the block 1 this is my one more copy of the block 1 and block 4 this is my one more copy of my block. Two. Like that the copies or the replication of your copies will be maintained here. So and uh, HDFS will provide the high uh, availability, high availability will be there, fault tolerance will be there and as well as we can trust the things like uh, HDFS. Why? Because uh, all the open source frameworks only we are going to use it here. It will split the large uh, data file into the small blocks uh, and it can store on the different data nodes in the cluster in a distributed manner. It replicates each block and store them across the different nodes in the cluster. So that's all guys. Uh.